Hi guys, welcome to Thrifty and Nifty Ideas. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, we are 47 days out from Easter. I made this in another video. Go check it out because it's really super cute. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, where am I going to put that? Okay, I'm going to set it right there. All right, so what I want to do tonight is I want to make an Easter wreath. Yeah, 47 days out from Easter and I'm making an Easter wreath. But that's just how I roll, especially because I've been off work for the last several days because of this blizzard that has come through Arkansas and basically the entire country. But, um, yeah, we got uh, oh, so much snow, it's unbelievable. I was out there feeding dogs and the snow literally is up to my knees, which would be, I'm putting my legs up here. Which would be from here to here. Harry Potter pajamas. So cute. Fuzzy socks. Fuzzy slippers. Yeah. The only way to roll in a blizzard. So. Snow up to my knees. So I'm in here getting roasted toasty now. And I'm going to make a wreath for Easter. You're going to need a 14 inch wreath form. Got that from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some foam eggs from the Dollar Tree other little odds and ends from the Dollar Tree, and of course, some mesh to make your wreath. I'm using four different colors here. I've got white and pink. I'm going to make a little blossom out of that. And I've got blue and purple to make another blossom. You're going to need some, I call them fuzzy ties. I guess they're pipe cleaners. Fuzzy ties. And a few little other odds and ends. Whatever. You're going to need glue sticks. And what you want to do is you're going to need about three rolls of each one of these colored meshes. And you're going to measure it out to about 18 inches. It does not have to be perfect, but each one's going to be 18 inches. On this wreath form, you're going to be putting five blossoms, basically per section. So each one of these sections is going to have five on it. So it's 15 of one colored blossom and 15 of another. So let me show you how I do these blossoms. Start off with the white. I'm just going to fold that down. And you're just going to scrunch it. It's going to be a whole lot of scrunching when you do these wreaths like this. And I'm not the best scrunchener. <laughs> Scrunchier. Whatever. But you're going to just do something like that. Then you're going to take one of your little fuzzy ties, bend it in half. Now, I already did this wreath the other night, last night, and because uh, I was snowbound. And my camera cut off on me. So, we're just going to redo it. We're just going to twist that a couple times. And then you want your fuzzy tie to be like lined up with the, either side of this. Then, take your other color, in this case the pink, and we're going to scrunch. I ain't going to lie, this takes a long time to do when you do a wreath like this, with this method. And you just place it down crosswise over your first piece. Twist it a couple times to hold it in place. And then you got a cute little blossom. It looks like a little flower. All right. Let's do our next one. Bust out the blue. Scrunch it up. that. Actually, I'll probably put that side on. That side looks a little bit better. Fuzzy tie. I try to match the colors of my fuzzy ties with the colors of the mesh. If you can't do that, it's no big deal because really they're not that visible when you put it on the wreath and you scrunch everything together on it. It's not that big of a deal if you use different colored fuzzy ties. It'll have to be turned down. Okay. 
Plus to move on our purple. Guys, I'm about sick of the snow. When I was a kid, I used to love the snow. Be outside playing in it all day and all night long. Till mom called us in for supper. Now I'm just like, oh my god. I look out the window, I don't even want to go out in the crap. Luckily, though, we haven't lost electricity, so, you know, I'm grateful for that. We did lose uh, our water. We had a water main break, but even prior to that, uh, our pipes froze up. Our main froze up. That's going to be god-awful. I haven't showered in three days. I've been taking little sponge baths. Can't even call it a sponge bath. I've been cleaning my hands and washing my face and brushing my teeth, and that's about it. Like living on a little house on the prairie or some crap. Okay, so we have our little blossoms. So cute, so cute. Okay. Let's bust out a wreath for them. And what we want to do is just kind of run our little fuzzy ties through the center two rings of our wreath form. If I can get that on there. So right through there, center that, give it a good tie down. And that's all you got to do. Let's put another one on. <laughs> Get in there. that down real good and that's all you got to do and you're going to scrunch these together and as you lay in your other three bundles here and then five 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 you know you get it you're not going to see these little fuzzy ties and you're going to go back and you're going to cut off your excess fuzzy ties you can do that as you go, you can do it when you finish it, whatever. But that's to get you started on your wreath. Choose whatever colors you want to. I just chose these because I thought they were kind of, you know, Easter festive. Let me get this out of the way because, like I said, I have one that I finished because I tried videoing this last night and, like I said, my camera cut out on me. Well, let me grab that. All right, so this is 30 whole bundles to make this wreath. And all I did was, like I said, you got to use um, foam eggs from the Dollar Tree. Match them up with the colors of your mesh, however you want. Um, I have some blue and some pink and a little bit light purple. This is a little bit darker purple. I'll probably pop into there. So, you're going to need some of those. These are the large eggs. And you're going to need a pair of dykes to cut the wooden stick off. Some of these eggs have ribbons on them. And I left them on because they looked halfway decent. But some of the eggs don't, like this one. Here's where hot glue comes in handy. I'm going to put a whole crap load of hot glue on there. And just place these wherever you want to place them. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with it. I think I'll put a purple one up here. Oh, no. i got a bow there. Ah, where do I want to put this? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to tuck that, I'm going to tuck that down right in there. The hot glue is going to stick to this mesh pretty decently. Okay, now another thing I did was I had some ribbon. I like I said, I already did this, but I had this really pretty blue and white small checkered ribbon. And then I had this kind of glossy light blue ribbon. And I just made some bows. And to do that is super easy. I will go ahead. No, I'm not going to show you that because I lost my dang scissors. <laughs> Whatever. 
Y'all probably know how to make bows. If not, watch a YouTube video on it. So all I did was just place the ribbons in there. And I used a white fuzzy tie to secure around it. And then just attached it to the back. Fluffed it out. I sure wish I could have just... I wish my camera had not a crap down on me last night. Because this was a lot of fun doing this wreath. And I would have liked to have shared that with you. Um, also with this, from the Dollar Tree, they have these really great little glitter vase filler. Glitter vase filler. They're just little glitter balls. So they're just like little, they're shiny small balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mind goes to the gutter whenever I say that word. So, look, I have tiny blue balls. <laughs> anyway, for these, all I did, let's set those, let's set my balls down, was I just kind of glued these together in groups and then I set them on here. So let me do just a couple of those, let's whip those out. Don't want no yellow, I don't have any yellow in this. Let's get another glue stick. Are you done? Are you done? No, but go ahead. Sheridan and Sulphur Springs had more snow than anybody else around. Really? Mm -hmm. 13 inches. Even Little Rock only had seven and a half. The others only have eight. Well, hell, I think we had more snow out here than what Sheridan had. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Of course, we're just little grapevines, so they don't factor us into anything. I'm just going to kind of glue these in clusters. Mom was just giving me a little weather update apparently crap was crazy in sheridan and pine bluff and of course out here we live out in the country now these these glue sticks i'm using right here are not gorilla glue sticks like what i like to use so they take a little bit longer to dry i don't think they set as well I can already tell you they're not setting as well. These were cheapo Walmart ones I got. This might take a minute. And you can glue these individually onto here or do them in clusters like what I just did on that one. This is not setting well at all. Cheapo glue sticks. Gosh darn it. Let's see if we can't... Throw some little balls on there somewhere. I keep, my balls keep come on. Balls back into the bag, chill. Stay. All right. Yeah, this is some crappy ass glue sticks. Dang Walmart crap. It doesn't help us got the glitter on there. So, but if these were Gorilla glue sticks, that would really hold good. It's all right. We'll make that work. Just might take a little longer to set up. So let's plunk that down into there. Hopefully, where you can see it a little bit. Stay. The rest of these stay good because on some of these I did use Gorilla Glue sticks. I kind of had a mixture going on. Well, that's the gist of it. Super cute. My balls keep <laughs> my balls keep falling out. Oh All right, you know what? I'm about done with these. These are kind of a pain in the butt. Now I do have some smaller eggs I can put on here, and I might just go ahead and do one or two of those just for a little bit of mixing it up. The ribbons on these are really nice. Normally Dollar Tree little hearts and eggs and stuff they carry. The ribbons are kind of crazy and they don't look too good, but these ones actually look pretty darn good. So we're going to keep them on there. And I think we'll put this tiny one over here. Tiny one there. 
a little ribbon sticking out. Cuto. And save these sticks. If you do this, save the sticks because you can always use those little tiny dowel stick things for other projects. I got a purple one. Oh, that does have a little bit yellow on it, but it's not that visible. And I think the purple I will put like right up here. Make sure that holds good. And maybe just one more small one using a blue. These are such pretty foam eggs. I just totally love these. I don't recall our Dollar Tree having these ones last year. Maybe they did and I just don't remember. And the blue one. Oh gosh, where do I want to put this little light blue one? Na, 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 na. Where do I want to put it? I guess. Oh, I got a lot of eggs going on there. All right, you know what? I'll plop that bad boy right down onto there. I'll try to get that ribbon out there a little bit. That crap better stay. After the day I've had out in the snow, all I ask for is for my dang eggs and balls to stick. <laughs> that just sounded so not right. <laughs> okay. That really did not come out the way I wanted that to come out. All right, so... One of these little fuzzy critters from the Dollar Tree. It's a little purple bunny rabbit. Too cute. Way too cute. And I just attached, using hot glue, um, a fuzzy tie to his ass. <laughs> I felt so wrong doing that, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And the rest of my foam eggs are sticking to my wreath. It's okay. All right, so the top right here, I just used a fuzzy tie because that's what I'm going to be hanging it from. So you want to make sure you find the very top of that. And we're going to attach his little ass right down onto there if we can. And hopefully he sits in place. This is going to be the hard part, guys. This is going to be the hard part, honestly. This is going to be the hard part. Maybe I did not think this out as well as what I should have. Oh, come on, little bunny ass. Sit down where you need to sit. Okay, or... <laughs> I'm catching on to everything. Gosh darn it, I just got too much shit on my table. Stuff on my table. I try not to cuss in my videos. All right. Straighten up. Might have to do a little bit of playing around with this. We're going to tie that down really good. We're going to hope that our little bunny sits where he needs to sit for this little project. If not, we'll be hot gluing him. All right, cute little bunny. What you got on your eyeball? You got something on your eyeball. We'll take that off later. All right. Now, what else you can get from the Dollar Tree, which I really love. I've never seen these in there before. Are these little picks with the little glitter ball-looking things on the end of them? They come in the purple and the blue and the pink. They had some yellow. I picked up some of these, but I'm not going to put them on here because I thought it would just be a little too much. Um, but that's another option if you can't find the little bago balls. <laughs> got to stop. All right. If you can't find this bag of balls, 
you can use these and trim them off or just leave them on and feed the stems down through there. You can keep the leaves on, whatever you want to do. Entirely up to you. But there's what you're going to have for your Easter wreath. Super, super cute with the little purple bunny. And I actually got him last year um, for half off because whenever Dollar Tree goes into their... Um, after season or after holiday clearance, which they only go like 50% off, I buy up a crap load of these things and the eggs and whatever else I can get. So there you have it. Super, super cute Easter wreath. I'm going to be hanging on this on my door um, as we get closer to Easter and after the remnants of this blizzard melts away because it ain't quite feeling like spring or easter yet but thank you guys for hanging out with me on this cold wintry night and uh we'll see you next time bye bye